Good day, my name is Richard and a warm welcome to Tutoring with Richard, where we cover the South African school syllabus and later topics. Today we're going to cover strength of materials in six. The topic of this tutorial is deflection of beams, example 3.5. Let's get straight into it. Okay, first let's read the question. The diameter of a solid shaft is 30 millimeters and it is simply supported at its ends over a length of L meters. Calculate the distance between the supports if the allowable stress in the shaft must not exceed 120 megapascals and the deflection is limited to 15 millimeters. The load on the shaft is its own weight and the density of the material is 7800 kg per meter cube the modulus of elasticity is 200 GPA. The beam is subject to two limits. A, the stress or moment of resistance, and B, the deflection. Therefore, calculate the length which will satisfy both stress and deflection. The shortest length of the two conditions will be the maximum allowable length, which will satisfy both conditions because neither stress nor deflection will be exceeded. Okay, so what the sum is basically telling us, what the, what the question is basically telling us, that if we have a solid shaft, now we have a solid shaft, it is simply supported, it is simply supported by something measuring L meters between the supports. Now, what they're saying is the shortest distance between these two points that they can be feasible, that they will be feasible to be put there, will not exceed the stress or deflection. So what they want is for it to deflect 15 millimeters down. They want the beam to deflect. 15 millimeters down. So, it will deflect. In this case, it can either deflect up or down. But if it's hanging, it'll deflect down. If it's supported, it'll hang down as well. Unless it's purposefully bent that way to hog, as you call it, as it's called in the industry. If it's bent, if a, part, if a shaft is bent this way, that's called a hog. If it's bent that way, that's to so that it can support a load and be and be straight at the same time. So that is basically what we've done. So this is not going to be a hog. It's not going to be hog. So it's not going to be hog. It's going to actually deflect down. It's going to sag down. It's actually going to sag down. So because it's sagging. That's why it's called deflection. Okay. So, now we are going to put our values to the right. All our values to the right. So, a solid shaft. Its diameter is 0, 0,03. Right. Its stress. So, stress is 120 times 10 to the 6. And the deflection y is equal to 0, 0.015. The density of the material, so density is 7,800 kg per meter And modulus of elasticity equals 200 times 10 to the 9. Okay, and that is all we are given. So we have to work out the shortest length that two supports can be on that shaft. So we have to make we have to look 
Now we have to use just that information and get more information that we will need along the way with the formulas I'm going to give you. Now, first formula is M is equal to I over Y. Okay. I equals pi over 64 d to the power 4. Okay. So, I equals pi over 64 times 0, 0,03 to the power 4. And that equals 3, comma, Nine seven six times ten to the power minus eight times ten to the power minus eight. Okay, I'm going to put I here because I have a feeling I will be important later. So three comma nine seven six times ten to the minus eight. All values will be important. So. M, M equals 120. M equals 120 times 10 to the 6 times 3 comma 976 times 10 to the negative 8 all over 0 comma 0 1 5. And that equals 318 Newton meters. Okay. So, M 318 Newton meters. All right. So, the next part is we are going to work out the weight. Most of these formulas we've seen already. So, let's work out our weight. Our weight of our shaft. Weight of shaft is volume times density. Let's work out our volume. So, Pi over 4 times 0, 0,03 squared times 1 because it's a meter, 30 times by a meter, times by 7,800 times 9,81, which will equal 54, 0,87. Newton meters. Okay, so that's the weight of the shaft. Now we will need the weight again later. So, 54,087 Newton meters. Okay. Now, what we will do is our next formula that we will use is this. Weight times L squared over 8. Right. So we're going to use this formula here. Equals M. Now, what we can do, now we've got M, we've got that, and we just need L. So, what we do need is to say M which is 318 times 8 divided by the weight, which is 54,087. The root thereof equals L. Okay, let me explain what I've just done. I have taken M and multiplied it by 8. So M, 8. 
equals W L squared. Right. Now what I've done is I've divided by W. Divided by W. Right, so W is gone. So W is gone. Now we're left with this L squared. Now to take a squared away, we use square root it. L, and that goes. Now oh, we're left with this L. That is exactly what I've done here. Okay, so L... Never go forward without explaining. So, L is equal to 6,86 meters. Now, this is not the true value because we have not taken deflection into account. Our deflection has not been taken into account. It's only the um, only M. A moment of resistance has been taken into account. We have not taken into account our deflection. So in the next formula we will take deflection into account. So how that works, how that works is Deflection equals 5WL to the fourth over 384EI. Now we have everything here barring L. We have our deflection, we have we have W, we have E, we have I. So I had to save I from previous from previous things. So let's get now. Let's formula manipulate. We're going to manipulate formula. We're going to take all this down here and move it up there. We're going to take five W and move it down. Then we'll be left with L four. So equals multiplied by three eight four E. I all over 5 times W equals L to the fourth power. Now, when we get rid of R to the power 4, it's root to the power 4. It's the fourth root. So this is the fourth root to get L. So, what we're going to do, let's put all the values in. So, 0, 0,015 times 3, 8, 4 times 200 times 10 to the 9 times 3, 9, 7, 6, 3, 9, 7, 6, plus 10 to the minus 8, all over 5 times the weight of 54,087, all rooted to the power 4, and this gives us an answer of 3,6. This is our correct answer, because this takes deflection into account, as well as our moment of resistance. So M is our moment of resistance. So we've taken, we took the first one with our moment of resistance, and we got 6,86, which is not the correct answer, because if you read the question, it says it must have moment of resistance and deflection. It must have both. That's why it's 3 comma 6. So the optimal the optimal placing for the supports on this 
on the on our beam, on our shaft. The optimal placing of the supports is 3,6 meters apart. And that will give them a slight, and that will give them a 15 millimeter, and that will give a 15 millimeter deflection. That'll give it a 15 millimeter deflection between the supports. That'll give it a 15 millimeter deflection. If you found this tutorial has helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. It costs you nothing but it helps the, uh, with the algorithm and helps the channel to grow. Positive feedback is most welcome. I enjoy reading your comments. Please use the comments section to let me know what topics you would like me to cover in upcoming videos. Be at peace, be kind to each other, and remember, passing well is achievable. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.